G'day fellow mate vloggers, uh, Bandit Nev on Ruby. I want to tell you a little story. I'm feeling for this young chap a little bit. There's been a young chap, he's come into, into the shop because he's, uh, his CBR 250R, I think it is, four cylinder. He reckons there was something wrong with it or something like that. and. Uh, he bought a second-hand motor from a wrecker and for the past two days he's been uh, in the shop trying to fit it and around about oh, 4.30 this afternoon he uh, went, to, went to start it up and uh, had all his um, oil and all that up to scratch from uh, the motor change and uh, went and turned her over and it was pissing out uh, coolant everywhere and Andrew uh, come up had a look and he said do it again and he said it looks like it's uh, all coming out from the head gasket so he spent two days on a on his bike, putting in another engine that looks like it's faulty. And uh, I feel for him a little bit, um, but the uh, it raises a question: Do you uh, trust these people that take out motors and that sort of thing uh, and sell them second-hand motors? I know one thing: I don't. I don't trust them as far as I can bloody throw them. They'll, sell, they'll tell you anything, sell anything. The motor only cost him 300 bucks. And I thought that was a little bit cheap. I mean, I, I don't really know how much they cost, but... Uh, and, uh, you know, they'd probably do anything to a young youngster. Tell them anything. So, um... At this point in time, he's all depressed. And uh, we told him to take the weekend to think about it, see what he's going to do. The first thing to do is get in contact with the uh, the wreckers where he bought the motor and see uh, see what they uh, they offer, if anything. <sighs> so, yeah, not good. I just don't trust these wreckers. How do they know that the, the motor's any good? You know? If they uh, they say they've started it and all this sort of garbage. Well, if they'd have started it, they would have uh, seen that it was pissing bloody uh, coolant out everywhere, wouldn't they? So yeah, I don't trust them. Second hand stuff. Um, I just don't trust it. It's not worth trusting. So Band and Nev on this uh, Friday evening, with the weekend coming up of course, with the Teletubby look on, which doesn't worry me anymore, just telling you a little uh, story that's been happening uh, the last couple of days, and um, I will no doubt, for the people that are interested, um, keep uh, keep you up to date with uh, what's going on with the motor and uh, how the saga turns out, so to speak. So Ben and Evon Ruby on this uh, nice Friday evening, I think I've already said that, but fitting you um, safe riding, ride like you're invisible, watch out for those cages, cheers for now.